Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Color Club Will Never Be Royals and the Born Pretty Overprint L002. I've started off with IMK Peel Ease and here's this beautiful Will Never Be Royals by Color Club. Stinking gorgeous polish here. This is another one from the Oil, Six Oil Slick Collection along with that Don't Kill My Vibe. When I wore it I believe it was Kat that asked me if I had this one. I decided I would definitely do a mani with it. Beautiful polish. Hi Woody, how you doing? So here we go with our second coat. It's got a really good formula. I'm not having a lot of trouble with it pooling or being too runny or anything. I am trying to get used to painting shorter nails. You know, you gotta load that brush differently when you got short nails. <laughs> I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Seal it all in so we can do some playing. And when I say playing, today I mean stamping. I am capping that little nubby of a free edge. And Woody's back again to clean up underneath. So there we go. Look at that shine and shimmer and color contrast. Look at the picture. Ugh. So here we go with Born Pretty Overprint L002. I got my Beauty Scraper and my AliExpress Stamper. Nicole Diary Polishes, Spruced Up and NS12, as well as NS08 and NS11. I'll also be using Brave Stevas Shutout. And we're going to just do some layering. We're just going to play with it today. So, now that my nails are super duper short, these stamping, you know, manis are, are definitely a little more challenging. Uh, I, I think that this design that I was trying to go for that was in my head would have definitely looked better on my longer nails. But, just kind of doing this big leaf as a background. And then we're going to add some flowers on top of it. But I started with the white and now I'm using that darker green that spruced up. And I am just layering right on top. And then now I'm going to go in with, um, well, I've got to finish the other nail. I'm just doing two accent nails today. So they're the same. I don't know why I left both of them in, but we're going to say it twice. There we go. And then now we're going to go in with that bright green and top this leaf off. It took me a long time to learn how to use layering plates. And I don't, hundred, bless you, Cotton. I don't 100% think I do them perfect or anything, but I am getting a lot more comfortable with them. They're not near as intimidating as they used to be. There we go. We got our leaves done. And now I'm going to go in and do this little flower design. And I'm putting it on the same nail. So it's going to have the leaf background with a little flower in front of it. But since my nails are so short, only a little bit of that leaf is going to show. That's okay. So I liked using this white as a base to kind of make the flowers kind of pop because that is a dark color back there behind everything and I definitely didn't want to cover up all of this polish you know the base color is gorgeous but I needed some accent nails so we're bebopping along and I do love me some stamping some playing Play in practice. It just depends on how you look at it. I look at it like playing. I'm going to throw in some of that more purple color. Just kind of build this flower up. Try to figure out how I want to put it on there. That'll work. <laughs> It'll work. And I am cleaning that plate off with pure acetone. Using my little cotton claw. And I am wiping that stamper off on my lint roller. Alright, now we just got the centers to do. 
and then the stamping part of this will be done. I really do think these plates are pretty cool. There we go. Let's get it in the center. So there we go. And one more. Can't believe I got that back in frame. Hmm. The girl might be learning. There we have it. We have some flowers with just a little bit of leaf poking out. I am doing my cleanup with the tape real quick. Since I have that Burt's Bees around my fingers, it's helping. I'm going to top it with the IMK Peel Ease. I'm going to use this as my smudge-free top coat. And once it's all the way dry, and I mean all the way dry, <laughs> I'm going to top it with my regular top coat. So here we go with our posh. And there's my little flowers with some little leaf sticking out on them little bitty nails. But you know, little short nails can be fun too. You don't have to have long claws to, you know, enjoy nail art. I have a swatch photo coming up here real soon. There it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.